All right, it's a little past uh, 5.30, and I, uh, I told everyone I run a half marathon today. So that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> it is uh, um, it's supposed to be kind of warm today, from my understanding. Uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. All right, so I'm about ready to leave. <laughs> And I'm uh, kind of nervous about the whole thing. Okay, so I'm uh, nervous about this because I kind of did this. Uh, uh, I chose to do this kind of on a whim. I uh, didn't really have uh, like a clear direction like, hey, I'm going to do this. I am kind of a private person. I don't really like sharing a lot of things. I got little jokes and throw things up on, on the social media for the most part. Um, I don't like talking about my stuff too much. I uh, uh, try to keep those things separate to boundaries. And uh, so this is this is my attempt to kind of uh, share a little something, I, I suppose. Uh, so this past, uh, this past uh, year has been a kick in the dick me and my family um, you know everything with with mom and that was only a couple months um, I got dumped I got dumped man like that sucks I don't know if you ever had that happen that sucks uh, you know I didn't really have like any clear direction on, on, on what what I wanted to do with my life like I had you know like I was like hey, I want to go back to school but I didn't know how um, I didn't know you know, how I was gonna make things uh, work with uh, trying to go to school, working at Reddick still and such. And uh, so anyways, um, I, uh, and then I gained a bunch of weight, I got fat again. And I, I don't know about you, I hate getting fat. I've done it several times, not a fan. Uh, but I eat my emotions, so, you know, turn into uh, like drinking or drugs or other dangerous habits. My dangerous habit is I eat, oh, because I feel something. Um, so, uh, I got fat again, uh, which is not, obviously not okay with uh, Uncle Sam. Last so year. you're really trying to, to slim back down. So January of last year, I think I was, uh, I was clocking in at like 193. I know. Uh, and so this morning, right before I left the house, uh, I did a quick little like weigh in and at 171. Uh, still not where like I want to be, but like, hey man, that was, that was pretty good, right? So, <clears throat> goal is to not be fat anymore. Uh, and then with all this, I've just, I continue to punish myself uh, by a marathon this morning. So, uh, I I'm a little nervous about it because I've only done. One and it was kind of on my own. I do, um, in my opinion, like I don't feel like I didn't really do it like to justice uh, because the park there were some discrepancies with the, with how long the trails were marked. So I don't know if this will count as uh, that last one really counts. So I'm doing this real um, half Couple marathon. Things. I have done some five Ks, so this isn't completely foreign to me. But what I'm uh, there's a couple things I am really worried about, and it's they all. Body because um, I, I have lots of body issues and I, so like one of the things I'm terrified about is uh, my nipples chaping, or chaping. I'm sorry. So I have, I, 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 I have, uh, I put petroleum jelly and band-aids on for fear of my nipples chafing. I am deathly afraid of going to the bathroom while running. I've heard so many horror stories about it. I just don't want it to happen to me. I've done some embarrassing things. Like, I don't know, falling out of a window. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I threw up at commencement. Oh, that sucked. Um, I, uh, or playing volleyball drunk and, and passing out on the court. That happens, so yeah. All right, so getting back on track. Um, so I'm doing this half marathon. I'm nervous about it. 
I think it's gonna go well. I uh, so on Thursday, I get an email from like the people running it, and there they say, "Hey, come pick up this packet of all this stuff for like, your right reason. I'll check it out. So I leave work from Defiance, and I, I come all the way up to, to Toledo and pack it, and. Uh, I walk into the store and they're like, oh, you know, we actually have a booth set up outside for people that want to put up their packet. I was like, oh, you know, I already feel like a jackass, but all right. So I go out and there's these tents where, where everything's uh, set up. And I'm the most right. out of shape by a country mile. Like, it is not close. Like, I thought, I was like, hey, I'm in pretty good shape and, and whatnot, you know. And these dudes, these guys are, like, standing at this table and they're talking about, like, their race times and whatnot. They're like, oh yeah, I was running hands. And I'm I'm my happy ass is standing there in, in shorts and vans. That's just like I was just trying hours. And these guys are like talking about their pace time that are like sub five minutes. It's like I'm, I'm no math guy, but that's, so um, that's a little intimidating. Um, I <laughs> I be rude about stuff, and I, I I'm certainly not the most like confrontational person. Like I, anything that happens, I'm just like oh, whatever. So, <clears throat> well, uh, like I said, we'll see how it goes. I um, will route the race when I hit like certain like mile markers, just to kind of see where I'm at and kind of uh, look and reflect. And I think this like this is kind of fun, like this kind of stuff and. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll like it. But um, I, I look forward, looking back at like how happy I am this morning, and then my immediate reaction uh, afterwards is just like, this was a terrible mistake. All right, so I made it to downtown Toledo. Parking's a bitch because it's downtown, right? Also, all these people are like in way better shape and like way better looking than I am. It's a little intimidating. Okay, so I'm at the starting line. They have all these uh, like porta john bathrooms, which is fine. You know, like that. Um, it reminds me one time at a UT phone, phone uh, football game. I was standing in line, and uh, this elderly gentleman starts like talking to me. He's just like, "Hey, yeah, my son goes to UT and yada yada." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, as well, you know, right on, man." He's like, uh, it's this really long line. We're in the, we're tailgating and everything like that. And he goes, uh, he goes, all right, when we get in there, we're just, we're just going to go in there. We're going to go to the bathroom. We're going to get right out. And I thought, wow, that's a really weird thing. These are singles. I don't, I don't know what you mean by we. So this dude is like chatting me up and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, all right, man, I'm, I'm over it. Like I, I'm just trying to go to the bathroom, like drunk. I'm trying to, you know, chat up some ladies at this time, this was like years ago, and uh, this t I get up to the to the door to go to the bathroom. This motherfucker comes rushing in with me. He's like, "You take that one. I'll take this one." I there's nothing I can do. It, it happened so fast. So now I have this irrational fear that as soon as I get into, uh, I gotta lock the door right away. So that's what I'm thinking about this morning. Oh. So another reason that I uh, am doing this as a way to uh, kind of help grieve a little bit. Um, I feel like I really, in the last few months, it's sort of just been more or less just, all right, well, what's the next thing? So <clears throat> what I've done is I got my dog and I have my dad's, one of my dad's old tags from when he was in the Air Force. And my mom just thought it was something that would be uh, kind of nice, kind of kind of thoughtful. It wasn't like I was doing a lot of this kind of stuff when they were both around, so I, uh, I guess in a way it's kind of like, uh, all right, I'm about two miles in, just a little bit under a 10-minute mile pace. Feeling okay. My right calf feels a little tingly. I don't think I'm gonna cramp. 
but I'm sure those were famous last words. A lot of people. It's cool. Many of them faster than me, which is all right. They're also way better looking too. So I think the next time I'll check in is at five. I should be like, all right, just passed mile five. I'm, all, I'm already cramping. I'm feeling it. I don't think even the Beatles could save me. They're trying. That's a good idea. So, we're at mile five. A little over what, seven more to go. So, I got a bit. I'll probably check in about halfway. So far, so good. All right, so I just passed mile six. Things are starting to get weird. Someone has a pet pig just chilling in their backyard. Wait for that. It's an odd flex. Someone had a sign that said, on a scale of one to 10, you're 13.1. I needed that. I've already lost one of my band-aids. My hip feels a little funny, but overall, I'm still feeling okay. Really sweaty. I'm like sweating for my eyes. I'm like, I'm not crying, but like sweating for my eyes. So that's fine. All right. I'm at mile seven, which means I'm over halfway. And I've had time to kind of reflect on how I got here and all the crazy things I would do to try and lose weight. Always, I would try to cheat the system. I remember there was one time I uh, <laughs> I starved myself for ten days. Had nothing but water. I should try to make weight once. I would go to the gym, put like a trash bag under my shirt or something like that. And get on the treadmill and just run to see if I could like sweat out a little extra stuff. And it works, but like temporarily. When I was at my heaviest, what I would do is I'd eat like a little salad and then I would go to the gym and I would just like run it's like 700 calories or something like that and that's all I would eat. I would just, just eat little veggies like that. And I guess it's been nice having something to hold me accountable to watch my weight. My whole family is kind of predisposed to being on the heavier side. So for me to kind of be the athletic one, athletic. Uh, it's kind of funny looking back on it. I was living by myself in defiance when it was just me. I had a tough time Stay on track and, and trying to eat right. Cause I'd come back from work and I'd just be tired and I just really didn't want to do anything. And I wasn't really happy with work. So at one point, this was before the whole COVID hit. Leadership had said something about, they were concerned about putting me up front in uniform. And I think that's what kind of kicked my ass in gear. I always knew that, like I'm a big dude. But to say that I'm too big to rock and roll, I can't let that fly. So, instead of getting mad about it, try to fight it. Just lost the weight. Okay, I'm at mile eight. Oh, I keep punching myself. Uh, I'm at mile eight. And uh, my pace has slowed down considerably. I was shooting around two hours, two and a half hours. Um, I think the pacer for that is long gone. So. That's all right. Um, that was sort of my goal, but I don't think I trained as well as I probably should have. My left hip is starting to get kind of tight. I will say, one of my favorite things to see are all the signs and people at the water stops. I mean, of course, I love seeing water. That feels great. It feels good. You know, when... 
I was standing at the starting line and there was a bunch of people there. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cringe. It's, they all have like inspirational signs and like they're really supportive and they're cheering. Oh. I'm like, that. it is nice to see like other humans supporting each other. So like, that's cute. I like that. Still got like five miles to go, a little over five miles. I'm hanging in there. All right, reach mile nine. I did 13.1. Everything hurts. My bandana is soaked. Only cried once so far. Still kind of trying to breathe through that. People, I see all you cheering for each other. Or like stop and like kiss their families and stuff like that, which is beautiful. Here comes my ass, just rumbling along. How much longer? Okay, so I just hit mile 10. Definitely feeling it. And my spirit is willing. My body wants to give up, and I'm trying my best to fight it. When I started doing this this morning, making these stupid little videos, I'm gonna watch this, and I thought it would just be kind of funny. Then at a certain point, I was like, "Nah, this is dumb," and I just thought about just deleting it all. And I've done that with a lot of things in my life. Like I'll make something, and I'll be like, "Wow, this is really cool. I want to share this with people," and then I start thinking about it. And then I'm like, no, nah. and I just, I just get rid of it. So it kind of got me thinking, like, how much, how much stuff I, have I done? Like, how much stuff have I done that maybe somebody would have thought was cool that I just like threw away? I don't know. Gotta remember, I went through a bit of a, a spell where I was just like, I was writing tons of, of tunes, and I eventually kind of hit a wall. And I thought about like sharing them with some people, like people I trust that, you know, like, kind of give me some pointers. Yeah. And uh, um, I just didn't think it was good enough, you know. More like hard songs or like these big rock opera uh, kind of stuff. I don't know. I just think about all the all the stupid things that I've made that probably would have been cool to share. So I'm doing something stupid now to share with you. Okay, I'm at mile 12, and my calves, I started to cramp, and it hurts, it hurts so bad, it hurts. But not much longer. Someone said they were proud of me. That was cute as fuck. Well, almost there. I'm almost there. I just want to tell a quick story, something I thought was funny. I have dog tags on. And I don't know if you ever had dog tags on. So what they tend to do, caught your chest hair. So I said I was only crying. I only cried once. I cried twice. Because I was thinking about my old man. The other half was his goddamn gut dog tag got stuck in my hair. Some chest hair. Real talk. Okay, so I finished. And I got some feelings. Some good, some bad. <laughs> uh, so I finished two hours, 49 minutes. I'm gonna shoot for two hours, two, two hours and 30 minutes. This is a little bit behind on that. 
I probably shouldn't have uh, went to the gym last night. Uh, but I don't think that's what like killed it or anything like that. Uh, it's really muggy. Sure, so the mugginess didn't help. Uh, lots of terrain changes. You know, there's parts that are like it's it's paved and it's really nice, and then like pothole central. Um, so it wasn't too bad. It uh, you know I uh, you know I sit here. And I look at all these people and like they all have someone that, you know, was waiting on them. I like, I feel selfish to say like, hey, I wish, I wish there was somebody here waiting for me. But, you know, I, I did this for me, you know, I'm the one who signed up for this, right? And uh, I'm the one who chose to uh, hurt myself. <laughs> Who matters? Um, it's been a trip to like, get to this point. Uh, I think I'd probably do another. Um, but it's just another thing that, like, I'm, I'll do on my own pace, right? You know, like, I'm not trying to win awards or anything like that. You know, I, I accomplish this because uh, I often have this thing with me where anything I accomplish, I immediately downplay. Like, I'm ashamed to be successful in any sort of way. Like, like yeah, you know, I graduated college. I, uh, I joined the military, passed basic training, you know, I'm, I'm an army musician, completed, you know, a, a half marathon, uh, I've witnessed the death of both, uh, among other things, and so you think, like, I would come out stronger for all that, sometimes it doesn't feel that way, not saying that I doubt, no, though, like, I'm, I'm happy, with what I've accomplished today. I'm about to get a beer and a hot dog. Right? I'm excited. <laughs>